it's been a struggle at times getting and, and and there's an industry side of this thing that a lot of people don't know about and it's been a struggle taking care of both ends of this but you get to a place when you're called of god i said when you're called now That's right. just because mamma said you could sing hey some people and I, don't get me wrong if i step on your toes I, if she told you you could sing today you better stay home and you better go to church to take care of your pastor or come to the barn and back the barn and build a ministry here. Amen. You better do what God wants you to do. As long as Amen. you find yourself in the will of God, you'll be Amen. right where you're going. Amen. Amen. But I wrote a song called You Can't Tell Me I'm Dying in 2013. Six years later, I was laying on my deathbed with the man that I showed it to first standing right beside me. And I was saying, I'm leaving. I'm dying. And I looked out that window, Josh, and I said, God, why? Why am I dying? I think Glenn called me and said, God told me to tell you, you shall live and not die. Praise God. And I thought, that's just Glenn. He ain't nothing. He's from Bowling Green, Kentucky. That's just Glenn. He don't want to see me die. But let me tell you what happened. As I laid there, I saw a vision of this big, huge cover. And you see those shirts that says, you can't tell me I'm dying, they're red. They represent the blood. Because I saw that big, huge cover, and I saw people coming out of that cover. A full pipe of people. And I was smiling, and Tina looked up at me. We were the only ones in the room. Everybody had left. She said, what are you smiling about? The doctor said, you're going to die. And I said, do you see those people? Those people were you all. She said, I said, you see those people? God said, I have to go. And I shall live and not die. Hallelujah. Ronnie Henson called and told me the same thing. Three confirmations, you shall live and not die. I'm standing here and, and I don't look sick. It's been a year and a half. Praise God. And I'm not sick. But I'm reminded every day from that big old scar that I have an artificial vow. And you know what? I ain't got, I ain't went back and had it checked, and I'm I, I should, but I ain't had time. When my schedule allows me to, I'll do it. But I want you to listen to the words of a song that God gave me six years before I was the man that I wrote about. I wrote my own eulogy six years earlier. But then I wrote, "Have I done my best as well?" Listen to these words, Glenn. This is for you tonight. It's for you. Because I don't believe you're going anywhere. God still heals. I'm living proof. So I lay on my deathbed, fighting for my life. The doctor said I'm sorry as they gathered by my side. So I took them by the hand Say my last goodbye When this frail and feeble voice spoke up Gave them this reply You know what I said, don't you? Where are your accusers? Cause he began 
It was his last request. It's that simple. It's that simple tonight. Yeah. <laughs>